What's crack a like in YouTube? Sock Monkey coming back at you live. Hope you guys are having a good one. As you can see, boys, we got the RMA 3080 back installed. And you know, while we were at it, I thought we'd go ahead. Get a little upgrade in there. Um, I was having some CPU issues. Uh, it was hitting 100% usage whenever I try and stream. So I thought, why not go ahead and upgrade? So let's go ahead and get to it. So before we take the old CPU out, Let's go ahead and heat that thermal paste up a little bit. Ran into a little issue with the old one. So the brackets came out of the bottom, as you can see. Got a little thermal paste down there too, as you can see. But uh, yeah, working on this, waiting on the father to come up with a wrench. All right, boys, with the help of my father, we got the new one in. Let's go ahead and get some thermal paste on this bad boy and boot her up. Well, boys, as you can see, the new one is in there. Went ahead and flipped the AIO as well, uh, just so there was less stress down on the tubes instead of them being cocked up. So now it's got a more uniform fit. As you guys can see, we got the 9900K. We had it clocked at 5,000. Um, it's not getting there. I have it just at 1.3 volts and it jumps to 1.33, or I have it at 1.325. Um, but right now it's at 4,800. I like it, uh, especially after the GPU issue. Definitely haven't been overclocking too heavy lately and just kind of been enjoying it. Back at you live today, boys. The RMA card has arrived. First thing I noticed, looks like we got a card with no red trim. It's already a new revised card this time around. Second thing I noticed is the packaging. Instead of this tough just coming shoved in here, EVGA has revised their packaging and they put everything in a nice little box now. Guys, so we went ahead and got both the cards unboxed here. I went ahead and took this one back out just to show the differences. First major difference, this one does not have the lips. No red trim over here. So the one biggest difference I have noticed so far is you can see right here with the wires, they are super tucked in. I don't have my flash on, but you, you can barely even see them connected. Where you come over here to the newer revised cart and they're twisted, where then I think it, it has a little bit less stress on the wires themselves. Um, so that is definitely one of the biggest things I've noticed so far on the new card. The serial number sticker is backwards. Not sure if that's an issue. It almost looks like the EVGA sign on the new one is bigger. Maybe that's just me. Let me see if I can get like an over the top view. I think I think that right there gives a good shot. You can see there's just a lot more coverage of where the white shines through on the newer card. Got the new card installed. It's a little dark. Sorry, my lights are on that side of the room. First boot with the new card. Whew, let's pray she doesn't blow up. It's a good sign. VGA light is on. I think that's just from the last card screwing up. Yep, went away. We're looking good, boys. We're looking good. Definitely be on the lookout for some more streams, gameplays, benchmarks, and more, especially now that we're not bottlenecked with the 9700K when we stream, now that we have the 9900K, and we got the 3080 back with the beautiful RMA card chugging along. So hopefully you guys did enjoy, and I will see you guys next time. Peace!